Welcome to the How To Guide now to remove the condenser unit on a Zinni C uh, condenser tumble dryer. Alright, so to get to it, on this model at least, you have to open the door. And then there's a button here, it's a grey button, push down, and the door should release. If you have trouble opening the door, it should release, but sometimes it does catch, But so just get your fingers and just pull. And there we are. So to empty the water bottle on this, you have to first flip this yellow tab up and pull the water bottle out. And then remove your cap and empty the water. When you're carrying this bottle, carry it that way. It won't leak out here, but it will leak out the top as there's a breather hole. So when you put it back in, Place it so the bottle cap is facing upwards. It does say top here as well to help you. Push in. And then if you try to close the door now, it won't close. You must ensure this yellow tab here is turned to keep this in place, but that also means now you can shut the door. Let's open the door again. So now we'll focus on the condenser. To remove the condenser on this, you've got two red tabs. One, two, and then pull. So next you need to take it to uh, your shower or to the kitchen sink if you've got a large sink. Or take use the hose in your back garden. I have a way it's gonna be fluff and those all sorts in here which is going to be removed. There's a little visor on this. It's like this has already been done. This has just been put back in for demonstration purposes like this video. But we're still going to run some water through anyway, just to demonstrate it. So we'll take this to the shower. Right, so we'll bring the condenser unit to the shower. Now, when you do this, you want to use both hot and cold water from the shower. So you will have to adjust the temperature anyway. Of course, the cold water is more powerful than the hot water, but the hot water loosens it up. It's unlikely you will see any muck at all come out because it's actually already been taken out. You can start at the front and go backwards, or you can also then turn it around and work from backwards to frontwards. It's not been done for a while. Get yourself a boiling hot kettle. The hotter the water, the easier it comes off. And pour it through. You can do this several times, but be careful of course using hot water not to burn yourself. At the minute we're just using warm water. And this will get the majority off. If it's not been done for also for a few years as well, you want to also do the sides, which I've already done. So what I'm going to do now. But you want to do from each side through the fins like that, because occasionally you can also get a little bit of buildup of fluff in between these fins. The way it works with the condenser dryer is that you'll have a fan blowing cold air through here and the hot air with the hot water then condenses against the plates, condenses down as water droplets falls and comes out of the rear here and then goes into a collection tank. So that's what your cold air does. It keeps these cool. But if you do do this, right, just put it onto just put it onto a towel for, for a couple of hours. Ideally for a day if you're doing it sideways. But that's already been done. We've not put any water through it. There might be an odd drop there, but that's nothing. But what you want to do is get your towel and just rub the bottom and the top. So we'll take this back to the machine. Put this back in. Right, so back to the dryer with the condenser. And to put it in, You'll notice these two little tabs here, these say top, and you want the red uh, catch tabs at the bottom. 
put it in. Right, you might get to there, and if you notice, it's not far in enough to put the tabs in. Just give it a bang in, and now we've actually sunk backwards now. So if we just show you that again. Stop there. Nope. Nope. Bang it in. Now I'll do it a couple of times. One. And make sure it clicks. You will hear it absolutely clicking. Two. There's actual physical click there. Make sure that the yellow tab's down on the water tank. And now you should be able to successfully close the door. And there we are. That is a how-to guide on how to clean a condenser on a Zanussi condenser dryer. This can also be applied to Electrolux models uh, as well. There is an Electrolux model video as well there uh, for you online. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching this video. Hope it's helped to do yours.